today kingdom citizens happy monday and i hope that you have a fabulous day and a week ahead so for today i want us to touch on few simple things that we can start implementing this week so that we can have a good end to the year so i know that some of us are feeling down to say oh but it's september there isn't much i can do i have to wait for next year um, to set goals or to start working on my goals and my dreams. No, it's never too late. This is the perfect time for us to start working on those goals. I just want us to always remember that change adds up. Those small little changes that you make on a daily basis at the end of the year that will give you a huge um, return on investment. So we just need to do those little small investments, those five minutes, 10 minutes investments so that we can see change in our lives. Because sometimes, you know, um, when you're talking about goals and dreams and we always think that we just need to start with something big, but no, we build up to that big something. So on a daily basis, you look at what is my destination? Where do I where do I want to see myself in the next six months? And then we break it down. Okay, so every month, what are the um, milestones that I want to tick off? And from the month, you go down to a week. So what is it that I need to do every week to give me this milestone at the end of the month? And then we go to our daily habits. What is it that I need to do daily? that will help me achieve this goal. So number one, I would like us to save. I'm also gonna take this challenge. Let's all start saving those two rents and those five rents in our two liter bottles. Yeah, let's see where we will be maybe, let's say on the 15th of December. So whatever five rent that you have, the two rent that you have, start putting it into that Coca-Cola bottle and let's see, you know, sometimes we waste so much, we waste money and we are even not aware that we're wasting money. So this is a habit for us to build up that um, discipline to say, no, if I have a five rent, if I have a two rent, there's a place where I need to put this five rent or this two rent so that it grows. I have a goal for the 15th of December and let's all, hopefully we will all join in count in share how much um we've saved and number two is to spend a little time with god you know just spend a little more time with god just um take a journal take a pen and just spend time with god my challenge will be let's read a book of proverbs every day so a book of proverbs has 31 days i know today is the 11th of september however it does not matter let's just start read one chapter of the book of proverbs every day and jot down what is it you know that stood out for you let's just jot it down and i'll see how we can keep track on this and just share our takeaways on each and every chapter of the book of proverbs and we will do this until the end of the year reason being you know we live in the society where everything is just do 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 read a book read a book you know and we just move on to another book but i want to create a community where we read and we absorb and we see change so we will go on 31, 31 day cycles until the 15th of december and let's see, you know, the impact of the wise words from the book of Proverbs that will, um, the impact that the book will have in our lives so that when come December 15, we can go back and check, wow, this is what I've changed. Wow, this is what I've started doing. Um, because the word of God is designed to change us, not just for us to know it and just go about life. No, but it's made to change us. Every word in the Bible, you know, 
was inspired by the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit breathed into every word that was written in the Bible. So the Holy, if the Holy Spirit is life, the word of God should bring life as well, should activate something, should revive us, should deliver us. So that is the main mandate that Let's see the book of Proverbs changing us. Let's see ourselves implementing even those things that, um, you know, we never thought, you know, um, we could do. But through the power of prayer and community, I know that we can do this one. And I love the book of Proverbs because it says that if you lack wisdom, ask for it. So these are the type of prayers that we will be going over and praying to say, Father, grant us wisdom during these months. Father, give us the strength, you know, to be disciplined as your children. As we know that the book of Proverbs talks a lot about being disciplined. We know Proverbs 31. Let's see if we can tr start even now implementing those principles. So it's a great journey that we are undertaking and I'm excited, so let's see. I cannot wait for the change that this will bring in our lives. So, yeah, I'm ready. I hope you are ready as well. And number three, let's drink water. I know a lot of people would rather choose, you know, soda, Coke, Fanta over water. I would like to challenge us to say, let's choose water. You know, um, when you wake up in the morning, have two or three glasses of water. You can squeeze in a lemon and just drink water. You know, um, if you can afford, you know, to buy still water, boil your water at home. And then once it's cooled off, you know, put a little bit of ice. It's nice and warm now. Squeeze in a little bit of um, lemon or put in, you know, blueberries, whatever. Just be creative so that... You can enjoy um, drinking water. And the last one is, guys, let's start walking. Just a 15 minutes walk. We are not designed to be seated on um, desks the whole day. I'll start sharing, you know, um, all these things on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on my Instagram and just check on me, I'll share um I'll share my handle on the descriptions below. But above all, it's Monday. Let's set the right tone and let's set the right intentions. And hopefully September, October, November, December will be productive for us and we are achieving our goals. I'm sorry, guys. I have been having flu for the past two weeks, but I thought, no, it's time. Let me record this voice or no voice. God will heal us. Obedience is better than sacrifice. And the scripture I want to leave you with is Proverbs 21 verse 5. It says, plan carefully and have plenty. If you act too quickly, you will never have enough. Wow. So let's not be hasty. Let's plan carefully so that we can have plenty. Hence, I'm saying the little adds up. That five minutes daily of you reading a book, we can take it for granted to say, ah, five minutes. Set that alarm for just five minutes and start reading. And you'll be amazed how much you're going to achieve at the end of the week. Just set up that alarm to say, okay, I'm just going to do this for just five minutes, for just 10 minutes. Don't overwhelm yourself. Five minutes, 10 minutes, max 15 minutes on a daily basis you know if you are going to do this challenge you know tag me on your instagram share this video with others that you think you know might um benefit from doing this challenge let's just challenge ourselves towards the end of the year it's not the end of the year it's the beginning for us um and um yeah it's the beginning for us you know, we are not giving up. We are not giving up. We are ending the year strong. So I hope you have a fabulous day and you've enjoyed this. Share, like and subscribe. Have a blessed day in Jesus name. Amen.